Hi, you guys. Welcome to a new, another, <laughs> let's see how many times we can say that fast. Welcome to another daily devotional specifically for women. Um, I love women. I love just getting in the word with a bunch of women in community. There is nothing better, right? Um, so if we haven't met, I'm Connie. Um, I'm a girl who loves Jesus, has seen God heals some emotional and physical things in my life. Um, but like you guys, I struggle to be in the word daily. It's just a fact of life. And so I love journaling. I love being able to just dive deeper. And so I hope that um, you're just coming along with me on the journey, right? It's just day by day by day by day with Jesus. And so today we're going to talk about um, probably one of my favorite verses, that verse that if I had to say, like, is there a life verse, um, this would be it. So I want to know in the comments, what is that verse for you? What is that life verse that um, you would say has just been that staple throughout all of the years? And for me, it's Romans 8, 28, and it just says all things work together for our good um, because we're called by him. And I, I love that verse. Um, there's just been times in my, in my life, I'll never forget in 2006, I had a really bad car wreck, was sitting on a light, completely rear-ended. Um, my car looked like a accordion. Um, it's one of those wrecks where you just shouldn't have walked away from it. Like by the grace of God, by his protection, I walked away from it. And, I, and I'll never forget um, getting out of the car, um, which was a miracle by itself. And looking around and just, just crying out to God that I need to hear you in this moment. I need to know that you're right here with me. Because I knew looking at the car, I knew it looking at um, just myself a little bit that it was going to be a journey. And it was. Um, but where is that place where... Like you just, you stopped and you said, okay, God, I need your promise. And the, and the scripture he gave me was Romans 8, 28, Romans 8, 28. All of these things, Connie, are going to work out for your good. Now, there was a lot of crap that I had to walk through in that process. Can anybody testify? Um, a lot of stuff that I had to walk through. And I think that's where we get this disconnect with God. Like the enemy chatters at us and whispers at us, you know, if God loved you, then he would. Um, how many of you guys have heard that? You know, it says thoughts in our head. It's that chatter in our head. It says if God loves you, he would have blank. And that's the, just the enemy trying to put that doubt that does God love us? Does he love me? Does he see me? Does he hear me? Is he hearing my cries? Is he hearing my prayers? And if so, why is he just not instantly fixing this? Why is he not instantly fixing this? I think in the Bible of Martha and Mary and their brother Lazarus died and they, they called for Jesus. And Jesus purposely waited. Doesn't that feel like sometimes that's our own lives? Like we've called out to him, like we know he can fix us and yet he waits. And so he waited. He waited until Lazarus was dead in the grave, had been there for three days. Because here's the thing, in that culture, like there was some sort of belief that if somebody came back from the dead within the first three days um that it wasn't a true miracle now in my opinion if you come back at all from the dead that's a true miracle but in their opinion it wasn't and so he waited and he purposely waited and then he he came back and he performed 
a miracle and he raised Lazarus from the dead. And it, it was, it's interesting. If you go back in and look at that story, like to kind of see their reactions. Like one of them's like, well, if you would have been here, things would have been different. And the other one was like, I believe you. They'll be in heaven when he rises. You know, but it was just this doubt. And I think so many times, like, that's just a strong place where the enemy comes in and says, do you really believe him? Do you really trust him? Like, maybe you're walking through a medical diagnosis or maybe you're walking through a strained relationship. Like, do you believe that he's going to work that out for your good? Or are you kind of in that place where Mary and Martha were, where you're like, God, I know that you will. This may not be on this side of heaven. I know that you will, but I'm not, I don't really know that I trust that you will. And so I think that's just that place where we have to sit in that verse and just be able to sit and say, God, your word promises that all things work together for my good. And here's what I've learned through this process. Sometimes we don't see the good to way down the road, right? And that's hard. Sometimes we don't see in the midst of it, the work he's doing in us or the work he's doing in that other person because we don't see it because we're so stuck in the middle of that, we can't see it. And so I want you, if you're in our private community, and there's some information about that in the um, description. And you guys, while you're in the description, make sure you like and subscribe and ring the bell because I do a devotional Monday through Friday. And so if you want those, it'll automatically tell you that it's up there. So. Let me, I want to show you the worksheet though for this. Okay, because I want you to get a little bit real with God today. Okay, first of all, I want you to write out the verse. And you guys, we ha I have made this to where if you can't print it out, you can click on it and you can fill it in. Okay, so super awesome there. But I want you to do that. But I also want you, I want you to get real with God. Okay, and I know this is hard, and there may be some tears, and there may be some anger that bubbles up. Okay, this is how we heal. So many times we think we're hiding it all from God. You guys, he knows everything. Okay, so just tell him. When you, when you start to be honest with him and tell him what you're feeling, just all the stuff, he's not going to get angry. He's not you know, going to punish you. In fact, it just, it brings his love and his peace and his joy even just deeper into you. So I want you to get really honest here, okay? What areas do you worry that aren't working out for your good? Okay, I want you to be really specific. Nobody has to read this. You can put it, you know, in a file that nobody knows. Um, or you can just write it out and throw it away, okay? You don't have to share this with anyone, but what areas do you worry that aren't working out for your good? Is it a relationship? Is it financial issues? Okay, and I want you to get quiet with God. You guys be like, you always say that. Yes, I do. Here's why. We have a lot of noise, a lot of chatter, and we intentionally stay busy and aren't able to hear God. So I want you to turn off your phone. I want you to turn everything off and do it when we get done here. I want you to get quiet. And I want you, what I call brain dummy, just what are you hearing? Because somewhere in the midst of that is God speaking. Okay, but I want you to get really just brain dumb. And I want you to write out a prayer to God. And again, I want you to get honest. Okay? And prayer is a two-way street. 
Okay, it's it does not have to be if if you're kind of new to this Christian walk. It, it's not this oh holy God. It can be, but it also can be God. Like here's where I'm worried that things aren't really working out. God, here are the places that I'm not really sure if you're answering me. And God, I need your peace. I need your joy. I need. I need your wisdom. I need a sign from you that you hear me and that you see me. Here's what I know. And I don't know why this is making me tear up, but I think somebody needs to hear this. The moments in my life where I've cried out to God and I've said, God, I need a sign. I need to know that you see me and that you hear me. I just need to know that you are here with me in this moment. And you guys, it can be a song. It can be somebody sent a, a random text. Um, and he talks to all of us in such different ways. But I promise you, if you will seek him, he wants to be near you. I start to laugh now when I ask that. Um, or there'll be moments where I don't even ask it and I'll be driving and I'll see just the way he talks to me. And I just laugh. Because I know it's just, it's just my God saying, I see you. And I know what you're worried about. And I know what you need. So if you need something, ask him to convert. Ask him to show you that he's right there with you. Um, and you guys, if we can pray for you anytime, you can write that in the comments. If you're in the community, in the private Facebook group, please go in there. That's what that is for. Um, and just know that we're here. Okay? We're here to walk with you when you have prayer requests. We're here when we rejoice. It says rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Okay, we're here for both. So... I just encourage you to do that. But you guys, this worksheet, you can just write it out or it's in the community. The community is really cool because you get the worksheets plus you get scripture cards for the month because we memorize scripture together. So it's deep in our soul. We have a night monthly of just worship, prophetic. Um, just having people speak over you, pray with you. Um, it's just really a cool community. So um, there's more information about that in the description, but I just want you to know that no matter what you're going through, that all of this, by God's promise, is working out for you. And I know it may be dark. I know that it may be hard in the season. But girl, I know that I know that I know that God's going to work this out for your good. And we just want to walk alongside you and pray with you and be there for you and with you and to be sisterhood together so if that's you please reach out okay you guys i hope that you have an amazing day again make sure that you um subscribe like the video liking the video helps you like it's under your liked videos and you can go back and rewatch. that just makes it easier um and then make sure you ring the bell so that you get notified when share it with somebody somebody's walking through a hard season. Ask God who needs this encouragement today. Okay, so we'll see you guys on the next day. Um, and I just, I just want to say like you are loved and you are seen. And truly all of this is working out for your good.